Today started like any other normal day, with the exception of this. I started out this morning by smacking myself in the nose with a screwdriver and proceeding to bleed all over everything. And the joke, the standing joke has become there should be a camera on me at all times because you never know when I'm going to do something stupid like this that would be kind of fun to catch. So what a, what the, it's a beautiful beginning to another week. Today's goal is to prep for the footing. The footing got pushed till tomorrow. We were supposed to do it today. But we decided we had a company meeting, a group meeting, and we decided to add a particular feature to the waterfall that we hadn't expected. And it wasn't because the customer wanted it. It was because it would make sense. It's something that will make it exceptional. As great as it's gonna be, now it's gonna be over the top great. So by going back to the waterfall area, I was excavating out because I need to drop the footing a little bit lower to handle what we're doing. And that's a secret until you start seeing it. Once you start seeing it, then it'll make a lot of sense. We're not telling the homeowner. They don't know until, again, it develops. And so that, that was, that's why we pushed the footing a little bit longer. That way we can get some more steel set into place. And then we're gonna plan on putting the footing in tomorrow. We live in this world where contractors are supposed to be compared, quote unquote, apples to apples. And there's this false notion that everyone's supposed to get three bids and you're supposed to have competitive bids and decide based on dollars, based on who knows what, as to why you should pick a particular contractor. Well, our goal is never to be an apples to apples comparable company. We don't want you to be able to compare us to anyone else. If you can, then it means we're not doing our jobs. One of the things that we do is always over deliver and always create more than is expected. That's what this little surprise is that really isn't a little surprise, it is a huge surprise, but we love to give that to the customer, let them discover it as we go. They don't know one way or another what it is until we build it, and it's kind of our gift because it's an add-on thing. It's gonna cost us a lot of time and money to do it, but it's gonna make the project amazing. And that's what the goal is, is to amaze the customer all the time. And the more that we can amaze them, the more fun we have, why wouldn't we wanna do that? And that's what this little surprise is all about. I had an interview this morning from Pool and Spa News. They're one of the two main trade magazines. There's a few other magazines as well, but one of the two main magazines. And they're looking to do a little feature article in the back of their magazine about kind of our style that we do. We do this handmade models and things of pools, very old school in this new technology. And he had seen the model about this particular project and wanted me to share a little bit about that. And it was really kind of interesting because from our perspective, it's normal. It's just what we do. From anyone else in the industry, it's a surprise and it's a delight because it's not how business is normally done. Normally business is about profit margins, profit P&Ls, profit and loss statements. It's about you know getting done as quickly as possible so you maximize the dollars so that you, you can go on to the next step. And ours is very different from that. Our process is all about loving and enjoying the experience and giving the homeowner an exceptional experience. And I think that's one of those things that, that they don't know what they're getting until it starts to develop. They really don't, they trust us. They have to have the faith and just close their eyes and let us do our thing. But the net result is always spectacular and it's always greater than I could have imagined it. And I've, we've never yet been disappointed when we finished a project. We always want to do more and there's more things we can do. So the next project we do more on, but we're always delighting ourselves and in return, delighting the customer. Do you think that they'll be delighted with this? I think all said and done, everyone's going to be delighted about this. I think this is one of those projects that's going to be talked about for a long time in this area, but I also think online, I think in our world, it's going to become a favorite. Customers always want their pool to be our favorite. And as we evolve and grow and change, they're all our favorite. And they're, the next one's our favorite as well because we're evolving, we're changing. There's an old philosopher once said that you can never enter the same river twice. Well, that's, nor can you be the same person when you do. 
and every project we get into we're new we're born anew we're something different we've grown and changed so therefore the project is going to grow and change and living in that is what we call living in the yummy that it's always something exciting and fun and adventurous and we're in the pool business but we kind of consider it an adventure business because we're having fun doing it. 